Hey everybody, welcome to Lexus Lounge. How's it going? Hope you're all having a good week. Uh, I've had quite the week of interesting observations, so I, I wanted to share some of those observations with you. We've had quite a development in the world of COVID statistics that impacts every last one of us significantly. And at the same time, there's been a related item in the world of YouTube censorship that uh, truly distressed and disturbed me. So I do want to talk about that in the end as well, but it's, it's quite related. But let me tell you guys what happened. So this story starts roughly on April 23rd when two California emergency room physicians hold a press conference. Their press conference ended up getting uploaded um, to YouTube on an ABC affiliate channel, a known channel that uploads a ton of different clips. And basically this press conference was all about some research that these doctors did. What did they do? Well, they ran a uh, serological survey. Not a perfect one, but they did run one. And before I go any further, let me explain without embarrassing myself in front of my medical lab scientist wife uh, what a serological survey is very basically. It's when you test for the antibodies of a certain disease in a person, whether they have uh, a presence of those antibodies or an absence. If they have the antibodies, it means that they developed them because they were infected with the specific disease you're testing for previously. So these doctors ran a sample to see who has been previously infected with COVID in their area. What did they discover? Well, basically that something like 15 times the confirmed cases have actually occurred in their area. So in other words, they discovered that A, COVID had far more prevalence than they thought, it was more contagious and faster spreading than they thought, but most importantly, the death rate was way, way lower than they thought, and there were way more asymptomatic people clearly just out walking around. Then these doctors extrapolated their data to suggest that COVID was way more widespread in California than anybody thought previously, and that that means that lockdowns are a really, really stupid idea, particularly if COVID is way less dangerous than uh, we've previously suspected. Now this clip blew up on YouTube, it got retweeted by Elon Musk, a lot of people watched it, it actually became the biggest clip that this channel had ever released in a matter of days. Then, while this clip was still accumulating views on YouTube, there was a news report out of New York, where New York State ran an actual serological survey, a proper one, the kind where you go to different areas and you collect samples from a whole bunch of places. They ran a serological survey around the same time, it turned out. And guess what? The same result. The actual number of people in New York State who've been infected with COVID it was tenfold or more the numbers that they thought were the real numbers, the confirmed and tested numbers. Now, this whole thing was reported by New York Governor Cuomo, so it was mainstream news. A couple days after that, on April 27th, turned out they ran another serological survey. Turned out that a quarter of New York City, 25% almost, had already been infected with COVID. And those kind of statistics change everything. They take, you know, a 4 or 5% death rate and make it into a 0.5% death rate. So that's the important COVID news for the rest of us to bear in mind as we ponder whether or not lockdowns still make sense. They don't. But what's really interesting here is what happened next. So you think with the governor of New York confirming essentially the same type of thing that these doctors from LA and the statements they made and the research that they did would be fairly uncontroversial, right? Wrong. YouTube took down the content for misinformation because it displayed a different point of view than the official, you know, World Health Organization federal point of view. And the clip was taken down. Now, obviously, they didn't take down any of the clips of Governor Cuomo talking about the serological surveys in New York, 
but it was truly disturbing to see them take down such significant and completely valid information because it was misinformation. And YouTube admitted that that's why they took down the clip. In fact, they said that as people continue to try to re-upload this clip, they will keep on taking it down, which is incredible. I'd love to link you guys to the one hour long press conference, but I can't because that'll get this video taken down. It's absolutely crazy. And if you think the YouTube reaction was bad, you should have seen the mainstream media reaction. CNN actually put out a piece smearing the California doctors and their work. Meanwhile, Washington Post released all of the statements from Governor Cuomo about how essentially the death rate had been cut in 10, and they did include that detail in the article, but this is how they titled the article. Turns out that COVID is worse than seasonal flu. That was their takeaway from the serological survey that showed a quarter of the residents of New York City have already had the disease. I am just shocked. Like, I know that mainstream media isn't great, but this whole experience, the last few weeks, it's just been beyond the pale. Good outlets like Washington Post have really dropped the ball. Shitty outlets like CNN have proved themselves to be even worse than they previously appeared to be. Again, YouTube pulling down the clip was just unbelievable. It is the reason why I migrate to other platforms, why I have an account on the Weed Tube where you can see all my content, why I have an account on BitChute.com where you can see all my content, and I will link to both of those down in the video description. But the reason I have those accounts is because those are platforms. YouTube is no longer a platform at all. It stopped being a platform like seven or eight years ago. And now they've gotten so extreme that they're willing to take even valid, well-researched opinions by doctors and call them misinformation and censor them just because it's not the official of that moment word from the government. I mean, certainly YouTube has slid a long, long way. Anyway, on that note, I hope that all of this new information was useful to you. If it was, please, you know, share this, like it, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And otherwise, please join me next time. See you guys.